Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. For those of you guys just returning to my channel, welcome my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of the newest videos going up. Let's get into your reading, Leo. How are you doing? How are you enjoying springtime? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, please give us insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Allow us to guide our Leos, giving them answers, removing any fears or any doubts. What are the messages for them for this month of April 2022? All right, one more shuffle. Okay, Leos, let's get into it. Your first card here, we're starting off with the Queen of Cups. You may be dealing with water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For some of you guys, it could be a mother figure that you may be dealing with or perhaps challenging you a bit for this month of April. Your next card here is the Queen of Wands. This is your energy here. I see you a little bit guarded, Leo. For some of you guys, it could be a feeling of having to stand your ground. Um, could be that in, you know, in the grander scale of things, there is almost like a feeling of having to deal with a lot of stuff that has been thrown at you the past couple of weeks, and um, you've had you've had enough. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing at this point, you're feeling like I need to stand my ground regardless of whose feelings I hurt. And uh, that is definitely the energy that I'm sensing. So for some of you guys, I feel like this is, this has been something you've been dealing with for quite a while, uh, being challenged. For some of you guys, it's overseen kind of like the scenario when we have a loved one or someone that we care for greatly and they keep, you know, challenging us they keep uh, invading our peace of mind or our peace in general our harmony and it's almost like how many times do I need to forgive them or how many times do I have to turn a blind eye uh, at this point it's okay to stand your ground Leo it's okay to speak up it's okay to sometimes it's necessary uh, to hurt people's feelings uh, not in a nasty or in a mean way but if it has to do with protecting your sanity, protecting, uh, protecting, sorry, protecting um, those you love or those around you or protecting yourself, like I said, your mental stability. Um, it's almost like tough love is what I'm sensing for some of you guys. Um, to Queens definitely does represent um, being social and in that aspect, uh, having a lot of people that have a lot to say about you or to express or chit chat or for some even rumors. Um, nonetheless, I, I feel like it's been it's been a process for you. And at this point in time, you have to be unapologetically bold, um, honest and, and transparent. Like I said, sometimes people that have a tendency of playing the victim mentality or playing the victim role, um, you know, and it's someone you care for or it's someone you love, uh, we kind of just, you know, hear them out. We nod here and there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we agree with what they're saying, but we don't want to hurt their feelings. And sometimes being the nice one or being the patient one or being the one that lends an ear um, without really expressing your emotions, you're kind of doing a disservice to them because you are continuously uh, allowing them to make it all about themselves. And like I said, the moment that your peace or your state of mind starts to uh, be hindered by their actions, it's time to speak up. So again, for the month of April, it's going to be very important to be unapologetically honest and transparent. Now your next card here is the Eight, whoa, <laughs> the Eight of Swords. Um, again, the, the, the feeling of being stuck, um, the feeling of kind of being helpless in a way, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a situation that has to do with family or loved ones um, where you're feeling stuck, where you're feeling like there is almost uh, this 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 feeling of suppressed emotions for some of you guys. And though Leos don't have a tendency of doing so, your loyalty can sometimes enslave you to people. Um, and I feel like at this point, what Spirit is telling you is it's time to stop playing nice. It's stop. Uh, it's time to stop. Uh, you know, um, giving people um, or lending people your ear 
when they have a tendency or a habit of creating drama in their lives, uh, it's okay to stand your ground. It's okay to speak up and say, you know what, enough is enough. I don't want to hear it or I don't want to continuously have uh, the need to feel like I have to um, agree with everything you say or everything you do when ultimately you're the one that creates or puts yourself in situations that create or stir up drama. So what they're asking you here is to take action and to stop allowing people to pull or to toy with your emotions or with your heart, uh, kind of like guilt tripping or anything like that. At this point, it's time for you to stop doing that, Leo. And like I said, stand your ground. The next card here is the Seven of Swords. Um, so yeah, people uh, not being completely honest around you or um, like I said, people playing the victim mentality is what's coming through very strongly here. Um, we can all love people um, unconditionally, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put up with their fuckery or with their nonsense. Um, you know, family, as an example, um, could be a, a very difficult situation for you guys to deal with because like I said, loyalty is very big for you. Um, but when it starts to affect you in every single aspect of your life, it's time to create boundaries. And that's going to be very important for this month of April. Um, for some of you guys, it could be rumors about, um, a family member, uh, or someone within, uh, in very close proximity to you, uh, that puts them in a very uncomfortable situation and you may be the one that they go to or that they, you know, confide in. Um, like I said, be honest and be bold in this situation. I feel like you're doing them more of help by being honest and expressing really how you feel about the situation versus just, like I said, turning a blind eye. So take this for the month of April. Um, it's about standing your ground, creating boundaries, and not allowing people to disturb your peace uh, or your harmony. I hope that this gives you insight, guidance, and until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.